welcome to your lesson today. Today we're going to be looking at the elements of group 7 in the periodic table. Okay, so what I would like you to know is the properties and reactions of the group 7 elements through this lesson. Uh, before we get started, um, let's have a little practice, a little retrieval, a little remember. Uh, can you pause the video and answer these five questions, please? Okay, you should have paused the video and answered the five questions. Uh, here are the answers for you to check them against. Okay, so what are we looking at today? I want you to identify and describe the group seven elements, explain the patterns and the properties of group seven elements, and describe displacement reactions. So finish this sentence. You may have already watched a little video um, ex going through some of the group seven elements. It'd be worthwhile doing that um, and see if you can put something into this sentence. Pause the video and complete that now. Okay, so the elements in group seven of the periodic table are also called the halogens and they are positioned over here. Okay, you need a copy of the periodic table to have a little look at them. They are fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine and acetine. None of the halogens are electrical conductors and they're all found in group seven over here. Bromine and iodine um, are not gaseous, fluorine, chlorine are, okay, but they have low buoyant point, which makes them very volatile. Okay, have a little pause now and read this. Okay, so what do the halogens look like? So here's a little picture of some of the halogens, okay, and what they look like. Okay, so you've now watched the video, um, the other video, you've had a little uh, look at the elements. Can you now add a little bit more to your original sentence? Pause the video and see what else you can add. Okay, so you should be adding some facts to that. Okay, so you should be able to identify and describe the group seven elements. You should know all their names. You've probably added that into your sentence now. Okay, so we're now going to look at explain the patterns in the group seven elements. So here's some data. I want you to pause it. I want you to have a little look at it. And I want you to see if you can spot any patterns in this data. Okay, so what did you see? What patterns can you see? You should be able to identify that the group seven melting point increases from top to bottom. This is totally different to the group one that we looked at. Okay, the melting point where the melting point decreases from top to bottom. Okay, so in group seven, the melting point increases from top to bottom. So what does melting point mean? Melting point is when it goes from a solid to a liquid. Okay, are there any of the trends that you can notice? So using the uh, video, the uh, other video that I've highlighted in the comments, um, go back through it if you haven't already. And um, what else do you know about the group seven elements? What other trends can you spot? Okay, so uh, you should be able to explain the patterns and properties of the group seven elements. Now we're gonna look at displacement reactions. Okay, so halogens um, are involved in displacement reactions. So here I'm gonna show you a little example of displacement reactions. So we've got Mr. Sodium and Miss Iodide and Miss Bromine comes along and Miss Bromine is more reactive. So Miss Bromine will steal Mr. Sodium from Miss Iodide, leaving poor Miss Iodide all alone. If she displaces iodine okay so iodine is no longer um chemically bonded to sodium iodine's on its own and bromine has now made a chemical reaction a chemical bond with sodium so in red we've got now the word equation sodium iodide plus bromine what will that make this is the word equation in a minute i'm going to ask you to do some word equations underneath i've also got the symbol equations in red but don't worry about them too much but it's also worth noticing them so why does this happen? This happens because bromine is more reactive than iodine. The higher up they are in the periodic table, in the group seven elements, the more reactive they are. So iodine is less reactive than bromine. Bromine's more reactive, so it boots out iodine. So we have sodium iodide plus bromine, and an arrow to show the reaction, sodium makes sodium bromide plus iodine. Okay, so iodine is now on its own, sodium and bromide have made a chemical reaction. So here's some examples for you. So pause the video and see if you can write an equation, a word equation. So that is the red line, sodium iodide plus bromine, an arrow. Can you write the um, word equation for this reaction here? Okay, and this reaction here, please. Okay, can you come up with one of your own with using sodium and the elements in the group seven? Okay, so pause, have a go. Alrighty. 
So, by now you should be able to describe the displacement reactions.